In this video I would like to show you the problem I've had with these 5 liter canisters as well as the quite over engineered solution I found using 3D printing. So I've recently been doing lots of repair work and restoration of old machines and that of course involves cleaning their parts. And I've always used this Evaporas Drust Remover as well as the Brake Parts Cleaner over here. And the problem I've had, if you want to pour it in a small container like this glass jam jar or also just a big container right here, first of all it really tends to spill and splash out and secondly if you stop the pouring it just runs down the side of the container and it just makes a mess everywhere. Now that problem gets especially worse if your canister is filled right to the top just like that Evaporust canister is. Okay, so here you can see all of the parts that I have come up with. First of all, this part right here, you can screw it to the top of the canister like that. Now in Europe, all of these canisters have a standardized DIN 51 thread and I just recreated that in my part. Of course, this part could be adapted to any thread. The second component of the system is the spout. As you can see, it is more or less inspired by a gas canister spout. It's got a big channel to let the fluid out of the canister and then a small channel to let the air back into the canister. A problem that I found with really full canisters is that this system won't work because fluid will try to get out of both channels at the same time and no air will be able to get back in. So I've also created this small air pipe. It's just a friction fit to the bottom of the small hole, just like that. And that really makes sure that the air can get to the highest point of the canister at all time. Now, if you want to keep these parts on the canister for a long time, these caps right here ensure that no fumes can get out of the canister, so it's closed. Now, my parts are made from PETG from Dust Filament. It's a German filament supplier I really like. And I have made a test, leaving the parts sitting in brake parts cleaner for two days straight, and there was no effect on them at all. It seems to be equally as difficult getting fluid out of the canister without spilling as it is getting it back into the canister without spilling. As you can see my funnel just doesn't sit on there properly, it tends to wiggle around and eventually tip over. So that's why I've created this part. It sits on the canister just like the spout, gets also screwed down and then the funnel can fit in this hole, held in there securely. Now, of course, if you're filling fluid into the canister, the air needs to be able to get out. So that's what this small hole is for. And the problem I've had with the evaporust is that it starts to foam up and then foam starts coming out of this hole. So this hole also accepts a six millimeter plastic hose. So you can use that to redirect the foam back into the funnel. So now to prove to you that it's actually working, you just take off the original cap, put on the spout with the air pipe as well as the cap nut, screw it down. Now in terms of sealing, for me it's just enough as is, nothing comes out down here, but you could of course improve the seal with for example a rubber gasket or maybe just electrical tape on the bottom of the spout. And if I pour now, you can see it's a really controlled, really steady stream without spilling. And also if you want to fill the small container, it's just easy to pour small quantities, really precise. So now I've set it up for filling back into the canister. As you can see the funnel is held on there securely. Also I've left the hose off because of course brake parts cleaner doesn't foam. And if I fill it in here, everything goes back into the canister without a problem. Okay, so that's all that is to say about these parts. If you like them, the link to Thingiverse is in the video description, so you can download them for free and print them on your own. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, and I would like to see you in my next video. All right, thanks for watching, bye bye.